guys um just sitting um just sitting here on my um ipad and just editing vlog um sorry there hasn't been a vlog up but um as you guys can imagine between the concert weekend and tara starting school yesterday things have been a little bit crazy um so i'm just sitting here mark should be off work soon um sitting here um i just uh um just sitting here you know just going over some stuff had a little bit of a rough morning um you know it's just it's very frustrating when you're sick to deal with being sick on a daily basis and sometimes it just hits you kind of crazy so today i just had a rough morning but mark you know me and him had a long conversation and i thank him because he's at work and he's driving so i know it was hurting his arm to talk to me this morning so um i really appreciate him you know having a talk with me and kind of like easing my mind you know um it's just kind of rough when you know like i'm being 28 and people expect me to be this young and vibrant person and um, just assume that like my health isn't bad because I don't like to out outwardly show it much um, unless you know you're in my inner circle like Mark and Tara and Brittany and stuff like that um, and see it on a daily basis what I go through you know I just I hate when people you know I should I don't like saying hey I strongly dislike when people just assume that you know I'm okay you know what I mean um, and it's just frustrating to deal with that because people still expect so much of you and they shouldn't you know what I mean and it's like you know every day I already have to deal with um, things you know just like um, this story that I seen you know on YouTube that my friend um, Master Wayne I'll put a link down to his channel you know um, as he commented to me and he's the one who actually um, Put the video my way um the lady talks about having spoons and how everything that you have to do every day is you know like you only get a handful of spoons and each of those spoons resembles the things you have to do in a day um but you know you only have so many spoons so you have to prioritize what what needs to be done that day that's important you know versus the least important and then each spoon is for each thing that you have to do and then by the end of the day you know you may have one spoon left where you're able to get everything done or you have no spoons left because you know something was so strenuous for you that it took a couple of spoons you know and um, that's what I that's how I have to go about every day you know as if I have like these handful of spoons and you know either at the end of the day I have one spoon left or none um, on how you know I was able to do things you know simple tasks like um, doing laundry or going to the grocery store or um, or even for myself even something as simple as taking a shower I have to you know because some days I'm in so much pain that I need help you know what I mean and I'm just being totally real with you guys you know and um and it's it's frustrating because people don't understand you know like those you know those spoons resemble you know what i can do in a day you know what i mean and if you're you know like a a, a totally healthy person has millions of spoons they can do everything and keep going and keep going but me i may only have eight spoons you know and that's how long i can last throughout them eight spoons and them eight spoons could last a half a day it could last a couple hours you know and it's like i i just want people to understand that you know what i mean and um i think that that aspect just became so overwhelming for me this morning that people are just like oh you can just oh you can just do this oh you can just no i can't just do you know that's the problem i can't just do you know and it's like it just irks me and it's like never assume how do you spell assume a s s u m e you make an ass out of you and you also make an ass out of me by assuming what i can or can't do you know so it's like um you know uh if you if you are uh, um follow me on if you're um, a friend of mine on facebook or follow me on facebook um i just put along you know a little story um about that you know never judge a book by its cover you know outwardly i have such a big smile and i'm d just this vibrant person but i use that as um a mask 
if it makes any sense um because at home don't get me wrong at home i still am that person but um but i do have some harsh stories behind the cover of my book you know what i mean because of my health and what i have to deal with on a daily basis i think the people who get that truly understanding of me my book is Mark and Tara because they live with me. They see it on a daily basis. They are the people who have to help me the days that I really need help. So they really, really understand my book and and what's in my book, what comes with my life, what's going on. But a lot of people judge my book by its cover and just think that I can do this, I can do that and stuff like that. But I can't, some things I can't do. You know, and I that's one thing that I had to learn um, becoming sick is that there there are things that I can't do anymore, you know, or need help with. You know, I had to learn how to ask for help now before I was the person who didn't have to ask for help. I was kind of, I was the one who was able to do, 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 do. But now I have to ask for help sometimes which is okay you know and I think my mom realized that last night because I had a long conversation with her that you know I truly need help sometimes you know especially now that you know there are days where I physically need help you know getting up and down the stairs getting up out of bed you know and then there's other days where I need help emotionally and mentally be able to talk you know just don't assume that I can or can't do things you know and um, I just been having that type of morning where it's just I you know like I, I cried but I think it was more so out of frustration because people were just saying you know where I'm like you know someone will text me and be like oh what you doing oh I'm laying down I don't feel good oh just drink you some orange juice take a vitamin and you know sit up and you could just do this it'll make you feel, I'm telling you you'll totally feel better I wish I could just do that you know that's the problem I can't you know so it just it just gets overwhelmingly overwhelming and frustrated frustrating you know what I mean so it's like oh I just want to um you know like just shake it into people's heads sometimes like you know get it in your head like I am sick you know I didn't ask to be dealt these cards but obviously God sees me as a really strong sh soldier of his and I was dealt these cards because he knows that I can deal with it you know but it just makes me frustrated and I, I'm a human you know so it frustrates me and when I get frustrated and angry I cry you know but it's like you know geez you know just don't stop assuming you know what I mean and it's like oh I just want to strangle people sometimes so I just been having that type of morning to where you know I'm tr just trying to get everybody to understand like I can't just do you know I have to like plan every day and there's some days where I literally maybe have a spoon where I get down the stairs and I'm you know like today I woke up and my back is hurting and stuff and my arm is hurting thank god I go to the doctor tomorrow but you know today's one of them days where I know I only have a, a handful of spoons you know just a limited amount you know um and I just really want people to understand that you know and if you're sick and dealing with and you're dealing with things like that in your life I know you totally understand where I'm coming from um you know and for those of you who aren't sick and and um who are dealt every day with hundreds of spoons you know don't take those spoons for granted like for real like don't um you know don't just be throwing spoons away you know what i mean because there can be a day where you can wake up and you'll literally only be able to use five spoons a day for your life you know what i mean so it's like don't take it for granted and you know just like don't take anything for granted in actuality just being honest you know because um you know when i was healthy and stuff like that i took many things for granted being able to ride a bike walking up and down the stairs taking a shower um going to the grocery store you know dancing i took all of those things for granted and those are the things that now i have to second guess what i'm doing how i'm doing it like um because you guys seen it that day that me and Tara were doing that radio concert. All I did, um, um, all I did was literally just stand up off the couch and my back was like hurting for like three days really bad because of my muscle spasms. So it's like, don't take things you can do for granted, you know? And it's just like, it, and it just, it, you know, like I, I can't say that, um, you know, like 
I can't get mad at people because before I got sick, I was one of those people who took it for granted. I'm just trying to tell people to be aware because tomorrow can change completely. You know, tomorrow isn't promised for our health and all that stuff. So it's like, just, you know, don't freaking take it for granted and don't assume that people who are, who tell you they're sick, you know, yeah, some people, you know, play it up to where they want people's sympathy and they want the attention so some you know I'm, there are people out there making it a ba bad for people like us but you know don't judge a book by its cover when someone tells you like they're really there there's something wrong with them there may be something wrong with them and i'm not even saying necessarily that it has to be their health you know it can be issues family issues mental issues that they deal with on a daily basis but outwardly they may look totally fine but on the inside they can be hurting so bad you know what i mean so it's like don't judge a book by its cover i wanted to tell you guys that you know so then that way you know if you are healthy and you do have that person in your life who you're just like you know they just keep saying this this and this and, and they're not really this and you know just like really listen to them you know like take time out of your day and really listen to someone even just listening to them and allowing them to express how they're feeling about their health about any issues can work wonders for them you know what i mean because like just like how if you have an issue sometimes you just want to vent to somebody and just just allowing someone to vent can be a night and day difference with their situation like you never know like something as simple as just listening um you know it's like i said you know i was feeling so overwhelmed this morning until i was able to just vent to mark how i felt you know and now i feel a lot better you know what i mean it took for me to vent and to cry but it just he just you know like he just shut up and listen basically you know i'm not saying that in a bad way but you know like sometimes you just need that you know and um if you have that person in your life you know that you assume that you know there's some may have been something wrong let them talk maybe you'll find out something about them that you never knew or you know just you know or something about them that you dealt with in your own personal life like you never know um just you know take some time out of the day and just listen or or just you know be that comforting person for someone who is going through some stuff you know and um a lot of times it can be a big help i know there's a lot of people in my life who can't help me in a lot of ways but just being able to be there for me through text through a phone call like it it can make your day you know what i mean so um so yeah just you know i'm not saying you have to do what i'm saying you know just you know like just take my words and kind of like um put them in your life on different aspects for anyone who may who you feel may need you in any type of way like i said even if it's just to lend an ear um you know that that just may make their day and um so i'll leave that with you guys thanks so much for listening to my little spiel and rant that i wanted to tell you guys and um hopefully it helps out with anybody out there you know and um and um you're more than welcome to leave comments below for me myself if you have any questions or uh, or anything you know i'm always here follow me on twitter um facebook instagram you know youtube whichever one you guys want to do and um yeah, you know, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, my day has turned out to be a lot better, so I'm I'm having an awesome day as well. I'm just going to uh, just going to do some video editing so I can finally get a vlog up to you guys, and um, you know, you guys will see us tomorrow. So have an awesome day, guys. Love you. Thanks so much for supporting our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. So have a great day, guys.